It's fun to bring some life and just whimsy to the town. Such a big goal for such a small town. A lot of people don't know where the town of Malacca is. When they try to tell people where it is they are, they usually get a familiar response. How far away is that? <laughs> A lot of them get confused that we're near Mille Lacs Lake, and that's the first thing that we have to tell people that, no, we're not in Mille Lacs Lake. It's very easy to get to, Except but it's also place very place. easy to forget, yeah, well, and that's what the people of Malacca wanted to change. We'd like to beautify the town. So they started with something that goes unnoticed. Some might describe it as... Besides invisible, in desperate need of attention. <laughs> a lot of attention. They, they were pretty ugly. Pinkish and all paints all chipped up. So they got the town together. It's people helping out people. We all kind of found our little niche. <laughs> some cleaned, some applied a fresh coat, and some created. I have to outline it all and then color in the eyes. Yeah, and then I'm done. Actually, they recreated. I like the Monsters Inc. one that's front of Teals, and I like Tigger. And they kept going until the hydrants were animated. We've designed. 14 so far, we have eight completed, six are in progress, and I have like four more on the back burner. The first character got going, that's when the characters took off. From a princess saving plumber to a bouncy cat and even a yellow guy who can't eat enough ghosts, they've all been a hit. It's getting harder to paint, especially when we're on the main streets because people are constantly stopping. <laughs> and they just love them. They just have nothing but good things to say about them. They put the grouch next to the garbage collector and the dog next to the vet. And hopefully, they put Malacca on your map the next time you take 169 up north. Just something little like a fire hydrant can really change, you know, your outlook on the whole city. From Malacca. It's something unique to our city, and that's what we need. Josh Wen, UTVS News.